Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's supplemental numismatic news and information for the 15th day of August, 2021, I'd like to take you straight away over here to the United States Mint and would you look at that? That's my prediction for coin of the year. So thank you, Phoebe Hemphill, for that particular one. I believe that is a beauty. And you'll know her name because she's the one that also helped create most, if not, well, I believe, the United States Air Force two and a half ounce silver medal had a big hand in that one as well. So beautifully done, Miss Hemphill, no doubt about it. My second favorite artist is, um, I believe, Emily Domstra. She's amazing. And then my favorite, I think, sculptor is Michael Gaudioso. No doubt about it. Those are my favorite three. And I'm not usually a flavor of the moment kind of person, but I'll tell you what, these are amazing folks. Gosh, got some beautiful stuff coming out here on August 17th. That's two days from now. That two and a half ounce silver medal out of for the Coast Guard representation. It's going to be beautiful, beautiful. And we will be on the uh, new channel for that live stream drop at about 1140, same time, it's just a different channel. Then, two days after that, the American Liberty 2021 High Relief Gold Coin, and I think that is the coin of the year, no doubt in my book. That's so beautiful. Then, five short days later, we're going to do the American Eagle 2021 one ounce Silver Reverse Proof 2 Coin Set Designer Edition. But that's not really what I'm here to talk about, folks. I want to talk about this, September 28th. This is the uncirculated coin set. And I know, I know that it's not silver. It's not glamorous. It doesn't have the high shine and the beautifulness and the attractiveness of it all. But you would be surprised. Now, I'm not going to say you're mistaken, but it's definitely something that I think is worth considering. Now, this product will be available for sale September 28, 2021 at noon. And you can enroll in it, right? Don't want to have to not enroll because uh, I tell you, I'm enrolled for 10 of these myself. And I'll tell you why here at the end. Now, like I said, these are open for enrollment. They will be open for sale on September 28th. And why would you get them, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's go back to 2020 in the Wayback Machine and look at the uncirculated coin set from 2020. And we'll just read a couple things from it. And I think that you'll understand what I'm talking about a little bit better when I read this short paragraph that I've highlighted in blue. It says here, the United States Mint's uncirculated coin set are struck on special presses using greater force than circulating coins that you're going to find at your bank, producing a sharper, more intricately detailed image in these uncirculated coin sets. Bada boom, bada bing. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, why is that such a big deal? Well, do you remember these? These sold for $11.50. Now they're selling for upwards of $100, right? That's almost 10 times more than it originally cost. Now, I'm not going to tell you that these are from 2021. They're going to sell for hundreds of dollars. But what I can tell you is that there's some items in there, clad items in particular, that will be worth a lot more money in a high top pop grade. Now, all top pop on these MS69s, we don't know what these three of Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco proof did sell for, but we know they bought it for $11.50. That's not a bad return, I would imagine. But check this out. They keep going around. Look at this. this is a 66 and a proof 70 for 79. And it's about 20 bucks a coin, 20, 40, 60. And for the set $11, you break even, really. But really, for the folks that get a 68 or greater, I think that's a payday, no doubt about it. Now, these particular coins in this Tuskegee set are not given that treatment that I talked about when we looked at the uncirculated coin set from 2020, said nothing about uncirculated coin sets like this are spe uh, uh, on special presses, even though they may be. They just might be. Doesn't say it, doesn't highlight it, doesn't mean it is, doesn't mean it isn't. But I'll tell you this, when these ones come out, oh yeah, these ones will be the highlight of the year. And you won't find any of these on eBay and Mint State right now. Nobody's foolish enough to, well, they could be. Nobody's going to throw these in, in at, at the grading right now. They're going to wait until this, this um, uncirculated coin set comes out, and then they're going to be graded these. Um, and that's September 28th, because it says here, uh, 2021. I'm just going to read the background real quick and show you why it's super important that this coin be graded and get a top pop, because it's a one-and-done year only. 
It says here, in 2021, the United States Mint began minting and issuing quarters with a reverse design depicting General George Washington crossing the Delaware River prior to the Battle of Trenton during the American Revolutionary War. On December 25, 1776, General George Washington, along with 2,400 troops and artillery, began his historic crossing of the Delaware River in preparation for a surprise attack on British and Hessian soldiers. Now, it says here, in accordance with the authorizing legislation, the obverse of the quarter will revert to renowned designer John Flanagan's design feature. Uh, President Washington appeared on the coin before the 50-state quarters program, which means the... Um, the face of it is going to be a lot larger than what we're, what we're used to from the America the Beautiful Quarter program. So that's an outstanding feature. Um, and I'm going to show you here. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show you on eBay what you can find. I put 2021 Philadelphia and Denver, Washington crossing the Delaware quarter. There's nothing. I'll even I'll even enter quarter again. I think I got nothing. And I did highest price. I could even hit MS in here. Watch this. I'll hit MS for mint state because we know it, there's no proof. Oops, I didn't put a space. I'm just out of control here, aren't I? Woo, living life on the edge. Okay, no exact match found at all whatsoever. There's a nice painted one there you get to see. But really, there's not much going on. So let's go back to this. This 2021 Philadelphia and Denver, Washington crossing the Delaware quarter. No real high grade examples yet. I wonder why. People are waiting. People that know are waiting for these uncirculated sets to coin to come out. I'm telling you, folks, that's what's happening. I, I really feel it. I think that's what's going down. Because why else would there be none available on eBay? Now, what you can do is you can buy these in rolls, and they're still about twenty dollars per roll for Philadelphia and twenty dollars a roll for a Denver minted roll. These are beauties, no doubt about it. And because it's a one and done year, that makes them extra special. Very much so. Very much so. And to get the highest quality ones, you're going to be wanting to get that uncirculated mint set this year. And if you're a person who's into grading those particular coins, well, you just might get a top pop. And a top pop of this would probably be, uh, I would say, a Mint State 69. And the sooner you get them, I would imagine that's a fresher die when they go to strike those coins, you would get a cleaner strike, a cleaner coin, and a higher grade. So listen, I want to thank you all. Good luck out there. And don't forget to join us this evening at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to do a Gathering Tribe again, and we're going to have a special midway through auction uh, with Can Can in New York. He's got five special coins that he wants to share with y'all. So listen, thanks for joining us. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker, out.